Hello, boys and girls, Haradrim and, um, female Her Haradrim, I, uh, that was probably the worst intro I've ever done, but hello everybody, and I'm playing another Flynn Noble map in the Adain mod, and today, he's actually given us a real treat, because we're able to play as the elves in Adain 4.0, <gasps> before the elves actually come out, yes, he's, uh, he's kind of remade the Lothlorien map, and, uh, I've played this a couple times, and he keeps giving me, like, updated versions, because apparently there's lots of bugs in it. Uh, I, I, pff, yeah, there were probably were, but, <laughs> like, I noticed. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is the final, final one, because he sent me two final maps. So, hopefully there's nothing wrong with this one, but if there is, we're, we're, we're just gonna lynch him for it, because, uh, yeah, that, that's what we do here. Anyway, here we go. Oh, this wasn't in the other one. Holy shit. And cursed our forces in these You're just showing off now, Flynn. Look at this fucking close up cinematic. Look at this. Oh shit. No, close the gate! Close the gate! Uh, gate's already closed. So, yes, Holcomb. Uh, Holcomb? I was. Wow, I don't even know what that was supposed to be. Hello and welcome to Lothlorien. By Flynn Noble. The elves are in a Dane 4.0, and I'm pretty sure he's just copied the code from, uh, oh my god, they're attacking the front. Gag! Galadriel to the front! We're sending our greatest unit in first. Um, now, I went dwarves, so, okay, good. Let's just, uh, do that. Okay, good. Now we can actually build shit. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure he's just copied the code from a Dane 3.8, so I might have to ins uninstall this map. When, um, when a Dane 4.0 comes out, because it might, it might, uh, fuck up the game, who knows. And, oh my goodness, don't you dare destroy our melon trees, thank you. So, yeah, um, because the elves aren't actually in 4.0, he's had to, like, the objects, or a lot of the, uh, unit spawning things are actually invisible, so what I have to do is drag and drop. So we've got our Origin Forge here, it's got all the upgrades you remember, Forge Blades, Longbows, etc, etc. And, um... We can just make our dwarven heroes here, and it's actually cool, I went dwarves deliberately, because how often do you see dwarves and elves fighting side by side? Um, let's just make all of these freaking mine shafts. Actually, we'll make that one a stonemason. Alright, and we can, uh, drag and drop this, and we have got palace guards, elk riders, Mirkwood archers, and Mirkwood swordsmen. Now, I know what you guys are gonna say, like, Mirkwood, this, we're in Lothlorien, why are they Mirkwood? Hail! You work with what you have, so good job to you. But actually, the models are different, and I don't know how he's got different models. We can make King Dane from an Elven Barracks? Okay, I'm okay with that. And actually, <clears throat> I think this might be like a spoiler for uh, the Elves in 4.0, because it says Ring Hero, Galadriel, which we knew, and Gil Gallard. Now, Gil Gallard was... <coughs> Sorry, I have something right. <coughs> oh, man, I'm dying here. Okay, we're just going to make everything twice. Uh, Gil Gallard was a power summon. You couldn't actually give him the ring unless I am dead wrong, and if I am, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure you, you couldn't give him the ring. So, <clears throat> sorry. So, I really don't know... Oh god, I'm gonna have to... Hold on, I'm gonna be right back. I've got a fucking Pokeball in my throat. Hold on. Oh man, that was awkward shit, but I'm alive, man. I felt sick yesterday. I felt ill yesterday, and I'm pretty sure I'm getting ill again. So fuck that noise, because Rude Devil gets sick for no man. Alright, so if we look... We have Lady Galadriel, but what's really cool is we have Radagast the Brown, uh, who was actually Rohan's ring hero. He's got a wizard blast, he's got a root ability, and then he's actually got a heal ability. But if we if we just focus in, what the hell? And the basic dwarves that you get without choosing a faction, they look fucking badass. But look, these, these, they're, no wonder they're called Mirkwood units, but look how badass. They got the shields from the Battle of Five Armies, so I don't know where he's got these units from. Because I'm pretty sure these guys weren't in... They definitely... The, the Mirkwood Elves did, definitely didn't look like this in uh, 3.8. So I don't know where he's got this from, but it actually looks really, really pretty. Um, I think the gate's open, so let's go. And actually, we have to drag and drop, because we can actually upgrade these Malon trees. So, but we're only... They can only have one. Ban of the Dark Lady. Uh, this will upgrade our armor to nearby units. This will... My favorite thing is actually the, the uh, mist. I love the mist. And actually, that's actually a problem. Once you choose the upgrade, you can't actually then reselect it. I didn't even upgrade the tree. So let's upgrade the tree for... Oh, shit. Let's uh, get the double line of sight. Then upgrade it. Good. And then we'll get the double... Uh, actually, no, we'll get the... 
Actually, I already chosen it. Well, fuck. We got the fog. We got one fog at least. So we can just hide here, and the enemy does not know that we're there. That's what that, I just love that. We've got two towers here. The union of the two towers. Anyway, we actually have an ent moot here, and we actually have a few ents hiding around somewhere. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, what I was saying before I uh, was dying is that um, Gil Galad was only a summon. He wasn't a a, uh, a hero that you could. Um, like, create and then, like, use for a, a lengthy period of time. So, the fact that it says that he's a ring hero, though, on our fortress, kind of makes me think that when the elves do come out, you can make him, or maybe when you summon him, you can make him a perma summon and then give him the ring, which, Gil Gallad with the ring, oh my god. So, yeah, let, let's just, let's just, uh, look around, because there are things to do, but... One thing Flynn is so good at is making this look like a believable space. This does look like Lothlorien. This does look like elves freaking live here. And we've actually maxed out our command points somehow. Did it, were we still making troops from here? Okay. Um, let's just upgrade them then. Silver thorns, forge blades, power of the elves. Should not be diminished. But, um, yeah, it's really good. Like, he, he, he... When I make maps, I just put random things together and hope it works, but, like, with the terrain, like, the different, um, terrain textures and the different buildings, it looks believable. And he's got, if we look here, the Mirror of Galadriel right here. He's got waterfalls. This actually looks like a majestic place of we the elves. And it, it's so beautiful. Anyway, I'll actually do a close-up of all the units we've just made. Um, but for now, let's just get our little fortress here. You know what? We could build, uh, let's build Lake Town, because Lake Town could, could be in Lothlorien. You don't know. You've never been to Lothlorien. It's, it's never there. Actually, uh, I've never, in Lord of the Rings Online, I never, because I never subscribed to it. I don't like subscribing to MMOs. It just seems like money down the drain to me. Especially an MMO as bad as, uh, Lord of the Rings Online. Oh, there's an Ent there. Um, but you can actually go to Lothlorien. I think you have to buy one of the DLCs to get there, though. Um, but yeah, if anyone's been there in Lord of the Rings Online, tell me what it's like. It, I bet you it's really cool. Anyway, let's do that. No, hold on. Let's go for the, let's go for the we mist in case they do break through, okay? And we'll go for the double armor. There we go. Very nice. So you just need to keep uh, dragging and dropping to make, making sure that you, uh, don't miss out on any melon trees. Because otherwise, you're just, uh, losing, uh, potentially more money. And then it's a point there, I'll build it in a sec. Remain wary, elves. Remain wary, elves. Hold on, we have... Grab your my dwarves are the ones that charged, of course. Alright, so these guys... Okay, these are, these are my pikes. So the guys with the fancy shields. Look at that, in the mist. That is just gorgeous. God, I cannot wait for the elves to come out. This is just beautiful. Galadriel, lead the line. Radagast, you can too. You are a wizard. It kind of... Mm. Like, Lothlorien in a Dame 3.8 probably were the best faction in the game because they could just, you could just build as many towers as you want and just destroy everyone. At least that's the way I saw it. Oh my goodness, so OP. So OP. So OP. Okay, let's uh, get that housing area. It's annoying you can't just stack all these, you have to keep coming back to it. Okay, <clears throat> I think we've only got one barracks. We've got a giant tree house there. I think that's uh, Galadriel's winter house, and this is her summer house. We can build the uh, Dwarven heroes so that we can actually have them fight alongside um, uh, the elves. And by elves, I mean Galadriel, because she's awesome. All right. Uh, let's build an elk rider, even though when I make them, they do come out invisible. So we'll just make one, actually, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so the palace guards are good against cavalry and monsters, archers, and then the swordsmen. Okay, so the palace guards are the pikes, they just have a fancy name. So let's have a look. These are the archers, yep. They are straight from the film. Actually, they don't look like the Galathrim, but they look pretty similar, so I guess it... I, I guess maybe they could pass as Galathrim, which makes more sense. We've got the swordsmen here. Oh my goodness, these elves are so badass. I've always been a dwarf guy. Dwarves for me, like when I read the history of Durin's Folk, they were always the coolest. But man, the power of the elves in Middle Earth. They're, they're, mm, they're so damn cool. So damn cool. Ah, oh, you gotta love the elves. And look at this beautiful place. Settle up, horse archers. Okay, so he's got the Linden horse archer quotes. Yep, we have invisible elk riders. I'm not even mad. 
Alright, we're just going to create an army of archers. Actually, we should be careful. Because our command points really aren't that high. Oh my goodness, they've got lightsabers in the hand. Look at those forge blades glow. Alright, we're going to put you in the tower. I love hiding in the mist. Just they, they, This whole army just sitting there. And then we just emerge and just kill everything. Damn it, German Radagast, you're, you're, you're shouting in my ear. Okay, if we hit Q... Okay, we didn't build this. The banner carriers are here. Alright, we're just gonna make a uh, quick beam. Who you should always make first, because he has an ability where you can just make units incredibly fast. Oh my goodness, we had invisible... <laughs> we have invisible units in the mist. Um... GG, Orcs? GG? I think that's GG. I think that's game. Plus we have Dwarven Heroes as backup if I need it. Alright, okay, we're gonna go there. Alright. So yeah, you should always make quick quick. Be oh my goodness, we're under attack and I haven't really been noticing. Okay. Lady of the Galadriel. Let's do it. Lady of Light. I'm... Radagast died during this whole fight. I didn't get to use a single one of his abilities because apparently Gothmog can kill one of the Istari. What the hell? Oh my goodness. Alright, Dogledore's on our fortress. Not Dogledore, Minas Tirith. Uh, yep, that's Minas Tirith, not Minas Morgul. I'm bright. I'm fucking bright. God damn it. Alright, go in that tower there. Elves fight! We are up against a brutal uh, Mordor, so this might take longer than uh, I thought. All right, Galadriel, you have that's like a fear move, probably out of range. Oh no, it's a AOE. Uh, yeah, it's a thing. Uh, Mirror of Galadriel. This is far sight, so we actually can have a look at their base quickly. I think I actually lost Radagast, which is annoying because he does get Wizard Blast, which was kind of cool to see, and he does get a heal, which would be useful now. The elves don't seem to get their Olven rations in this. Um, I don't know. Remember, this is, is just a uh, modded map, so I don't know if that's actually... they Whether they have Elven rations in 4.0 or not, but that was always really useful. And it's been too long. Too long since we've seen a Silver Thorn Arrow being fired from a tower. Too long. Far too long. Okay. Quick Beam, you are here. Time to use the Ent Moot. Tree Bird and three Ents ought to do it. Rally to my aid, sons of Durin. Uh, were they elves? Sons of Eru. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think it's funny that, it's like, I still don't know really what Galadriel is. I had someone explain it to me ages ago. Like, I know she's an elf, but she was, like, made before Middle-earth, and she has that really weird power where she just looks like she's had a really, really, really bad date, and she just goes batshit crazy. Who is that, Sauron? Okay. Oh, another Nazgul! Yeah, but it's just, I don't know where she gets her power from. Like, if someone could fill me in on what exactly she is and does, then that'd be great. And that, that is the power of the elves right there. That is one Nazgul gone. Booyah. We've got Quick Beam chucking rocks at, uh, Minas Morgul. We've got Galadriel whipping up mini tornadoes, which is just beautiful. Because she hasn't got the ring, and I don't think we'll find Gollum on this map, he's probably glitched somewhere, he might be... Like, outside the map, inadvertently. We probably won't be able to, um... Because she only really gets offensive powers when she, uh, gets the ring. Because her level 10 ability is that she makes units... She makes other units invincible. She doesn't, like, whip up a huge tornado. So she's, she's actually... When she hasn't got the ring, she's... While she does do a lot of damage, she could actually be considered a support hero. Um, because she does give gifts to other heroes and she does grant them invulnerability. So she's different... Who is that? Uh, another Nazgul or something. And she does grant... Uh, she is different to, uh... Celeborn in that regard, who... Celeborn, at, like, his last three powers do a shit ton of damage. A shit ton. Power of Silver, and then all those... The other two he gets, I can't remember the names. But you, you guys know what I'm talking about. I used it a lot in the, uh... Chamber of Secrets map, which they need to bring back to a Dane 4.0. The Chamber of Secrets is just the best thing ever. I may, might have shared the same name as a Harry Potter book, but we'll, we, we look past that because that was so fun. And if you guys don't remember the Chamber of Secrets or have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, go watch the Chamber of Secrets videos. I made two of them. It's a Dane 3.8 map. It's awesome. Okay, we have 800 uh, the here. command points to fill. So we're going to make six battalions. That's 150. That's 180. We still need another 500 to freaking fill. So. 
Hmm, I feel like if we make the dwarves actually, it might over- Ooh, Black Riders. Black Riders. And a troll. Black Riders seem to be- What if we just close these gates? Would that annoy you, Nazgul? Would that annoy- Would that- I think that would annoy you. And the last Nazgul is gone. End v troll- Wow! Hashtag that power though. Oh my goodness, this is enough to move buildings. By buildings, I mean mountains. By mountains, I mean Macpollet. It's enough to move Macpollet. There you go. Alright, we've still got one more end. The enemy didn't last as long as I thought. We could have won we could have won this by now. I don't don't think that I don't know that. Wait, we can upgrade these mount Oh, so when the thing goes in when it actually upgrades. I take it back, Flynn. We can upgrade them. You didn't do anything wrong. You, you didn't do anything wrong at all. Uh, so you can do it. You just need to wait for it to upgrade again. Oh, uh, okay. No, no, there is still a problem. If you choose the Melon Tree upgrade without choosing one of the uh, resource upgrades, then you can't get it again. So when you're choosing the, the research upgrade, you have to... Ch uh, when you're choosing a Melon Tree upgrade, always choose a research upgrade. I can upgrade these again once it's done, but this one, I fucked up. All right, there you go. That, that's, that's actually not a big deal. That's actually not a big deal. You just have to remember that. All right, you guys chill out there. We have an ant chilaxing. I love the mist effect. I love it. I don't know why. It's, I, it, it seems useless, doesn't it? Fucking... Because you know units are going to be in there, but oh my goodness. I don't know. It just feels like deception, and deception in warfare is king. All right, ants, you need to somehow get out. We actually have Treebird, don't we? Treebird can summon other ants. I forgot. So yeah, Flynn, do, should I, when, when when the Elven update comes out, should I, um, should I uninstall this map? Because it seems like it might, might, you know, suffer an aneurysm, because there might be entirely different models and codes and things, I don't know. Who, who knows, who knows. We must stay alert. I swear I'm not building nearly enough of these things. Oh, okay, so I've made all the archers, but where did they go? Stay close. Oh, I, already, I ordered them down there, didn't I? They're moving... There they are, okay. I forgot I did that. My bad, my bad. We're just going to assemble a grand army of the Republic. Because uh, we can do that. Come on, we got Eero on our side. We're supposed to be where the power is strong. The Undying Lands, Father of Muckers. Uh, I like these two units, so I don't think we'll get Palace Guards. So yeah, uh, what does it say for Gil Gallads? It's in... Maybe you could give... If it's in German, maybe it is from 3.8. Maybe you could actually give Gilgalad the ring. When, when could you have given Gilgalad the ring? I've never given it to him. I never... I'm really con confused now. I, did I give him? No, I don't think I did. Okay. Um, let's get Dane... Yeah, we're out of money. We I'm actually kind of annoyed I lost Radagast, because it would have been fun to have him attack, but eh, whatever. The hell are you fighting now? Who is that, Treebird? Treebird, you're always picking fights! You're always picking fights! God damn it! This is a brutal mortal, may I add, and they can't do anything. They can't do anything! We've got our longbows, we've got our lightsabers. Actually, what's their alternate stance? What is this? Oh, okay, plus 75% armor, but minus 75% damage, so... It's really just to make them tankier. And our invisible halls... Can these... Can we, can we trample with these invisible things? Trample, trample, trample. And they all just die. That's a lot of dead invisible horses. My bad, I'm sorry. Alright. Damn it, you're in Lothlorien. Show manners. Remind your manners. Alright, come on. Does everyone attack? We still have 1,300. Okay, here we go. So yeah, as far as maps goes, um, I, I, to be honest, I'm treating this as if it's, you know, just a playground. This is just to have fun. But, like, if it, it does seem a little unbalanced because, really, the attacker has... Not much space to, um, you know, establish an economy because there's really not many build plots. And while the uh, Lothlorian defenses really aren't that good, I mean, you can't mount people on these walls. Um, does that even out? Maybe. 
But uh, I'm not really treating this as like a proper competitive map. I'm treating this as a playground. Let me play as my beloved Cape Blanchard, aka Galadriel. Alright, here we go. Last March of the Elves. Here we go. With one unupgraded Dwarf Battalion. And there's a freaking troll there. What, you're gonna try and gank me, son? Well, fuck you. Power of the elves, bitch. Alright, the elves? What are uh, the archers? If the Merkwood archer fires on their enemies from one position for a longer time, the firing speed is increased. Okay, that's a passive ability. Okay. Alright, everybody, engage the enemy! Where is Galadriel? Oh, this guy's got his... Who is this? Why is he special? Creatures I had known through nut and acorn. Whatever you say, Punk. Alright, here we go. The elves are going to war. It is likely we go to our doom. The last march of the Ents. So yeah, A for effort once again, Flynn. This is a beautiful map. Thank you very much. And these elven units look so beautiful. I still don't know where you got the models from. So yeah, they like they, these these guys are taken. Well, they look like they're taken straight from the film. Anyway, time to summon the ends, tree bird. Which is a, it is essentially the summon ends power. And I used it, and really nothing's nothing's happening, or is it just a delay? I don't know. Anyway, Galadriel, your boyfriend's about to show up. Go, Gandalf. Go. And Gandalf means. Very old Fred. Look at that, we got Gandalf and Galadriel fighting. Hold on, let's try and adjust this a little bit. There we go. No! Do fireworks for the pretty lady! Fireworks for the pretty lady! She'll appreciate it! She'll appreciate it! There's... Look at this. Galadriel has such range, actually. Maybe they even... I remember she was a lot... Oh god, Nazgul! 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 Actually, I'm not even going to tell them to attack. Let's just see if the, the attack order should do it. Look at those rocks, look at the f no. Yep, that'll that'll save you. Try and run away on your horse. I think there's only and And they're dead. And it crumbles! <laughs> we didn't even need the power of the dwarves, that's how good the elves are. Do you mean to wish me a good morning, or do you mean that it is a good morning with a Yo, no, elven orcs. units, kill those orcs. You have 5,000 years more training, come on. Actually, like 3,000 years, but still. Go. Look at those beautiful lands. Oh, a Dwalin shows up for the party. So yeah, that was Lothlorien in a, in a Dane 4.0 before the elves actually come out in a Dane 4.0. Thank you very much to Flint Noble for making these maps. Please keep sending me maps. I love them. They make me happy inside. I'm Rude Devil. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Goodbye.